Now, if you guys didn't check your brokers today, yes, AMC stock closed in the red. It had a pretty rough day, but the overall market was down, and it was down big. Red across the board, and it's not AMC stock specific. What could be AMC stock specific is the fact that the Department of Justice out there is out investigating short sellers. It's out investigating Citadel. It's out investigating the relationship between different banks and these hedge funds. That could turn into something very big. And uh, I'm going to tell you right now, it could be good, it could be bad. We're, we're going to talk about both of those outcomes in this video because, hey, you got to have the bad along with the good. And we've got Adam Aaron telling you that he is getting rid of even more shares. Man, this dude is creative in the way that he thinks about getting rid of his shares of AMC stock. Because moments ago, he was locked in for eight years worth of his salary, and uh, he still finds ways to get rid of his AMC shares. So we'll talk about that in this video as well. And if it sounds like something you're interested in, let's get started. What's up, everybody? I'm Clay. I'm here to make 2022 the best year ever. If you haven't clicked that subscribe button, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Join us. Become a bro. We are here every single day, and we are growing our portfolios together. Look, if you're brand new to investing, you don't know how or where to buy stocks and crypto, you get a link in the description for Weeble. Super simple to set up your account. $100 deposit gets you at least five free stocks right now, and then any $1 crypto trade gets you your choice in $5 in free crypto, and then you get crypto exclusive exchanges down in the description as well. Make sure to check that out. Let's start with Adam Aaron, and then let's go on to the Justice department so or just department of justice so adam aaron announced today i mean i i, I never want to knock a dude that's donating to charity okay but after selling 40 plus million dollars worth of amc uh he could have donated for uh, one million of the 40 plus million dollars to charity it did not have to be in amc shares don't don't let anybody fool anybody he's got plenty of cash on hand that could have been donated uh why would you want to donate shares well he's locked into those shares he can't sell them so apparently there's a loophole where he can get rid of those tax write-off purposes a nice million dollar tax write-off on that 40 million dollar gain is going to do pretty well and uh in, in no way i don't want anybody to think that in any way i'm discouraging him from from donating to charity or anything like that i believe that that is admirable honorable and all of that i just know that he could have done it with cash as opposed to the shares right so it, it yeah it's tough man it's tough i've been critical of him getting rid of his shares for quite some time now i i do not think that he supports the short squeeze i do not think that adam aaron is an ape i think that he's a ceo he is a very good ceo but he is certainly not for amc stock squeezing argue that all you want in the comments below i it's just it that's my opinion on it so good deal on that he's donating those shares not a million dollars. It's the shares. I hope everybody's clear on that. So he will have 50,000, roughly 50,000 less shares after he makes that donation. Now, moving on from that, we've got the Justice Department. Okay. A lot of people very excited about what this could bring. So let's talk about a couple scenarios and how they could play out because, uh, you know, some of the other YouTubers out there are really promoting this idea that this investigation is going to be here. It's going to be gone in March 3rd. That's the day. If we don't squeeze by then, it's over with. I completely disagree with that. I do not think that if we don't squeeze by March 3rd, that it's done and over with. These short shares, they have to be, they have to be covered, okay? They're not just gonna disappear, like some people tell you. They're not just going to, you know, not follow their obligations. And and I don't want people to I guess have the wrong idea about what's going on here. And a lot of people out there are you're really getting kind of crazy with what they're saying about the AMC stock and the AMC stock short squeeze and uh, these short shares in this investigation. So let's go through a couple different scenarios and just to keep it very simple. If the Department of Justice investigates all of the short sellers, if they investigate all of the banks, if they investigate AMC stock specifically, and they determine that there are no illegal naked shorts that are outstanding, does that change anything? If you answered yes, it changes something. You've been relying on something that has never been proven. You've been relying on something that is completely unnecessary, and it does not change anything. Now, let's say that they go through, they do all of their investigations, and they do find naked shorts related to AMC stock. What are we looking at in that situation? Because that is a, it's a much, 
It's a much more welcomed approach to what's going on here by the AMC stock community. In that event, AMC stock is likely going to be under investigation because what they're going to see is how many short shares actually exist. How many of these synthetic shares for AMC stock actually exist? How many, who's, who's responsible for these AMC stock naked shorts. Who and, and what accounts have naked? There's going to be so many questions that need answered. And this information coming to light is very, very likely to suspend trading on AMC. I believe this could be detrimental much before it could be beneficial to AMC stock. If AMC stock is suspended pending investigation, it's going to be suspended indefinitely pending the investigation. Now, will the stock price fall afterwards or will it rise afterwards? The investors in AMC stock, if their assets are frozen, would be extremely nervous and extremely likely to sell afterwards. I'm not creating FUD. I'm not creating any, any uncertainty or doubt. I am saying if AMC stock is frozen, people will be nervous. It, that is just human nature. Now, if AMC stock makes it through this investigation and it's found out that the hedge funds are responsible at market prices for these uh, naked shorts that could have been created, that is going to be an amazing cherry on top. That's the ice cream or ice cream on the cake. It's the icing on the cake situation where we have even more short shares that need to be covered than the 100 plus million shorts that are currently being reported. That would be how we benefit from some sort of an investigation and some sort of a finding into naked shares. Now, I don't want anybody to put themselves into a corner and say, this is the only way that AMC stock squeezes. This is the only way that the AMC stock MOAS happens is if they find these naked shares and if the, the hedge funds are held responsible. We do not need naked shares. We do not need Adam Aaron to hold his shares. We do not need billions of synthetics. We simply need a community that is, that is just willing and able to hold AMC until the short shares cover. Because guys, it, it all comes down to supply versus demand. If that supply is restricted, meaning nobody is actually willing to sell, which we could see in volume, they are willing to sell right now. If that supply is restricted and the extra, and, and de the extra demand from those short shares covering comes in, the price will rise. Now, I want to know what you guys think about all of this. Give me your thoughts on Adam Aaron. I know you guys don't like the fact that I'm critical on Adam Aaron. That's uh, that's okay. Let me know in the comments below. But I want to know your thoughts on the Department of Justice as well and what you guys think that they're actually going to find out there. If this button right here is still red, make sure to click it, subscribe to the channel, join us, become a bro. We are here every single day, and we are growing our portfolios together. Claybro883 on Twitter and Instagram. We will buy Gemini Crypto.com in the description below. And until the next time, hope to each and every one of you have an awesome day.